Will your desire for attention lead to too much tension in your love life or just life in general? That depends on how you handle today's transit. Today is July 28th and we have some tension in the stars, which you're going to want to know about to navigate today correctly and even benefit from this challenging transit. But before I dive in, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. If you love astrology, you need this hoodie and you need to see this design. So grab it now. Link is in the description below. Welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. I do this because I was the kind of person who did not understand themselves or the life of them and often felt lost and confused in life. Then I discovered my birth chart and so much more like the Enneagram in the Myers-Briggs and for the first time I understood who I could be. So now I'm here to teach you about these things so you can understand yourself as well. So again, we have some tension in the stars today because recently on July 22nd, Venus went retrograde in the sign of Leo. And this has caused us to reflect on our love life and reflect on how much attention we seek. What does play mean to us and how do we achieve that play in our life and in our love life? An important note about Venus retrograde is that Venus is not just the planet of love, it's the planet of wealth and worth. And this shows us what we value not only in our love relationships, but also we value in life itself. So with Venus retrograde in Leo, we may feel that it's hard to find joy in life as much. We don't know exactly what makes us feel like we're living a passionate life. We don't know how to have fun anymore. We may even feel called to spend less time having fun even as we enter Leo season. Leo season started recently as well, and this has made us feel that we want to have the fun, but with all these different planets in Leo and retrograde Venus in Leo, we don't know how to necessarily achieve that. This now challenging energy around the Leo archetype is heightened as Mercury, the planet of communication, which is in Leo, forms a conjunction of, with Venus retrograde in Leo. These two planets crossing over creates tension between our communication and what we value. We may feel if we are in love relationships or are interested in dating, that there is conflict in communication in our love life during this time. Communicating our desires with other people can become extremely challenging and we may even have people or love interests from the past surfacing during this time. If you unexpectedly run into your ex at the supermarket or if you're having to have a hard conversation with your partner, know that it's because of this transit. Make sure that we aren't intellectualizing matters too much because as Venus is retrograde in Leo, we may feel that our, and crossing with Mercury, we may feel that we're not able to communicate our emotions correctly. And this is because Leo is a fire sign. Leo also wants to be bold and passionate and keep things light to some degree, even if it's assertive. And so communicating softer issues can be hard. So this conjunction is really challenging us to make sure we navigate relationships correctly and act in alignment with what we think might be our values. However, this is just Venus retrograde that it's forming a conjunction with. And so what we are thinking during this time about our relationships and about life might not necessarily be the most accurate thing. It's best to not stick with any ultimatums during this time or go to any extremes. Anything you communicate with your partner Think of it as more of a short-term agreement or as a short-term communication. Don't take things as uh, your next big picture vision. Don't make any bold or brash decisions. Just communicate what you need right now, if that is what you are communicating about. As the day advances, we do have another challenging aspect with Mercury and Pluto. Mercury is just causing problems today, which is always so fun because it reminds us to communicate correctly and communicate lightly. We want to make sure as human beings that we're not projecting onto other people. And so anytime Mercury makes an aspect, we are reminded to be very careful with our words. Not to necessarily not speak, but to just be careful. So as Mercury and Pluto form an aspect, we may feel that we are too insistent on getting information out of people. This is between Pluto retrograde in Capricorn and Mercury in Leo. And so this can mean that we feel like we're trying to demand things out of people because both Capricorn and Leo are very assertive people, and so they want the information now. Make sure you are not pressuring people too much because this can trigger yourself and other people, and it's not necessarily healthy. So reflect on your own emotional wounds and see if you can come across more gently 
as you are approaching communication. <sighs> and then we also have a little bit of a light energy that helps us today. Sun and Uranus form an aspect which can help us embrace our individuality and uniqueness. With this aspect between Sun and Uranus, if we navigate these negative aspects or challenging aspects between Mercury, we can be rewarded. We can feel that things are less troubled afterwards. So maybe act a little on that impulse, but make sure you're coming from a place of love and owning your worth in order to navigate this energy correctly for today. That's your horoscope for the day. Let me know if you're feeling it in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to book a 30 minute reading with me if you have questions about astrology or your life. In these 30 minute readings, sky's the limit. You get to ask away. So if you have questions about something you're struggling with in life, if you have questions about upcoming transits, or if you have questions about your chart, get those questions answered in a 30 minute reading for $30. Link is in the description below. But if you're ready to dive deep into who you are, what makes you who you are, and what your purpose even on this earth is, then book a self-revolution reading in the link in the description below. Same one as book a reading with me. And you can get a one hour reading where we dive into your numerology, your Enneagram, and your birth chart all in one to give you the full picture of who you are and why you are here. Link is in the description below. Get the free birth chart workbook down there if you have not yet already and check out the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle where you can access all 30 of our workbooks and courses on astrology and more for only $30. That's $1 per course per workbook and you get lifetime access to these workbooks and courses. So get yourself discovery tools in that link in the description below. I absolutely love every single one of these workbooks and use them to this day. So grab yours, get the bundle now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed this update. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down birth chart astrology and current transits. Once again, my name is Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.